some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be taking a look at a video that Cammed Up Caveman put up recently. You know, because this is the second time since I've been on here that uh, he has attempted to remove me somehow off of YouTube. And this is probably the more pathetic one. I can understand the false copyright strike, but now posting videos that are of me uh, off of my Facebook page? I mean, come on. So we'll take a look at these pictures that he's posted of me on his page. And you guys can travel down memory lane with me as well. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, I've removed the sound portion of his video because I'm the one talking right now. So enjoy my voice as I explain each of these pictures to you. Most of it is just old footage from my other videos that he's trying to use against me. But it's really irrelevant. I really don't know who this kid is. Uh, can anybody tell me where this particular video came from? Because I sure as hell don't recognize it. Ah, uh, yes, this one's funny story. I was trying to learn how to use uh, the GIMP photo editor. It is much like uh, Photoshop, only it's free. This was my very first attempt. Hell, I thought it was pretty damn funny, so I posted it as my uh, avatar on Facebook whenever I did it. The interesting thing is, he didn't bother to post the uh, origin of that photo. Well, here's the origin of that photo. Well, the story of this one is I was on a date in 2007 with this one woman who was about the same age as me, and I was 27 at the time. We hit it off pretty well, but due to it being a long-distance relationship, it didn't last too long. The whole photo has been lost. I had her in the picture, but I used this as uh, my f uh, profile picture whenever I had a MySpace account many years ago. Uh, and it's since been deleted, not by me, but by the corporation itself. We were still friends and pretty much are still friends. She was married for a few years after we were uh, together uh, until she got divorced, but still a long distance kind of thing wouldn't work out. Again, who is this? I have no clue. Is this supposed to hurt me somehow? Th all this is, is me posing for a picture before I go to a job interview. This had to have been taken back in, oh, 2017. I do believe I was trying to get a job at the uh, Florida Department of Children and Families. Oh, I remember that when I read 200 or so pages of Florida law on children and family issues. But come to find out, I didn't need to read those things. Again, how is showing bits and pieces of my life supposed to hurt me? I am damn proud of the things that I have accomplished in my life. Let me tell you something, I was the least likely one in my family to even go to college. I was misdiagnosed with a learning disorder and had to go through uh, special education classes, even though it was not necessary, and that was proven years later. I graduated high school with a special diploma in 1999 as a result of that. I got my GED in 2002. I worked at Walmart for years before I went back to college and got my uh, associate's degree in 2014 and graduated from Florida State University in 2017. You presented this as if it's something that I should be ashamed of. I am proud of what I have done with my life. And I am even more proud of the fact that I was able to go back full circle to those classes, and only this time as an educator and be a positive influence on the students there. So again, how is this hurting me? 
Yeah, so I took a picture of my Bachelor's of Science degree from Florida State University and posted it on my Facebook page. So what's your damn point besides pointing out my uh, first and middle name? And I thank you for leaving out my uh, family name. But it makes little difference what you do here. Because if you really have all this information on me, you know you've got nothing to bully me with. And I find this so amusing. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. Cry me a damn river. Accept the fact that there is fair use and move on with your life and stop being a little crybaby, you moron. You have only made yourself look like a complete tool, considering that you are the one that hates the First Amendment, because you're the one who lashed out at me a couple months ago by putting a copyright strike on my video that I did of you. You are the true hater of the First Amendment, not I. I have never told anybody to stop making videos. I have just pointed out their flaws in their arguments. There is a difference in that. But you're too short-sighted and incompetent to figure that out. The date on the bottom corner is rather wrong. That was taken on a Thanksgiving day of 2010. Nothing really special going on right there. I was just in desperate need of a haircut at that particular time. No doubt about that. This was my crossroads of destiny picture right here, I would suppose. You could call it that if you want to. This was my last night doing one of my favorite things in the world. Going to local wrestling promotions and having fun by either being a referee or in this case being a heel manager, a.k.a. the bad guy. And the choice I had to make was this. Do I continue to pursue this dream of mine to get into professional wrestling and become another Jim Cornette? Or do I go to college? And I ended up choosing the college route. And I have never regretted that decision. But I tell you something, I had a lot of fun doing that. I had fun hanging out with Bullet Bob Armstrong. I had fun hanging out with the road dog, Jesse James. I had fun. So let me ask you something. Is this a way to bully me off of YouTube? To try to scare me? To make me not want to make videos anymore because you know who I am? Well, if this is all a bullying tactic to try to scare me, I've got these words for you. Grow up, dude. If you've got such a thin skin that you can't take the slightest bit of criticism, then is YouTube really the place for you? And did revealing these pictures really do anything but make you look like a complete moron?